Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It's the Marmoset. I'm back again. They've all gone away. They've all gone. There's no one left. They've all gone away. But they'll be coming back shortly enough. Here we go. That is a lumber company. They're pretty unhappy about the pollution, but the pollution's going to go away because I've just got rid of all the buildings that were causing the pollution. I also got rid of all the traffic because I got rid of all the industry. Um... Gonna probably, as I said, I was going to be looking at chunting this around and turning it into an industrial area. Um, but I think I might be looking at relooking this. Let's just quickly double check my resourcing. So there is plenty of forestry to be had in that area. So I was kind of thinking about putting a, just a normal industry in. I think that's probably what I will do. Let us get the industry painting tool and the industry removal tool. And we will truncate. The donkey mines away from said area. And we also have to rename it because they're no longer mines. These are woods. And if the industrial demand tips back up again in a bit, which it should do over time, I mean, you're going to, to be honest, I actually think the pollution is already starting to clear. Which is kind of impressive. Um, you gentlemen are not what I want to see in an area where I am intending to be making wood. Get out of it, would you? What's the pollution like over here with a nuclear power plant? Do you actually produce any pollution? Hmm. Operating normally. So the traffic problem on the way in is resolved, but is not on the way out. But anyway, I'm reasonably happy with that. I knew there was something we forgot. Crematorium! We must make sure we have a way of getting rid of the dead. So I still come back. No, no, they won't. They don't come back. They just keep going and 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 going. Let's have one down over here. I really like the idea of having a little crematorium tucked in all the way down over here. Let's um, stick a small plaza in over here just to connect the power up. Oh, we're all filling in. Wow, look at that already. At street level, this game is really pretty. And my roundabout is working. Well, obviously this place isn't as full up as it could be just yet. I mean, all the commercials filled in. Plenty of people putting along this road. And surprisingly, this thing is working. Much to my pleasure. Though I'm not entirely convinced there aren't people... Trapped. I'm pretty sure this guy just went round several times. So no, let's grab this sports car. No, no, you parked. That's unfair. So it looks like the way the AI is handling this at the moment is that they are... They are some of them spiralling round a few times to get into the lane they want, because it looks like the AI can only change lane every now and then. Hmm. Fun. So, one of the new bits of kit we got was a cargo harbour, which I am thoroughly interested in. Now, a lot of it depends on where we can put it, and whether we can get, find a place where we can get decent access for our shipping stuff at the moment we had a lot of trouble previously in making space for these the dead I'm not immediately worried no I am we have a death wave wow do we have a death wave this kind of behaviour is brought on by the fact that everyone moved in at the same moment and then they've all carked it at the same moment so I suspect we probably have had death waves we've got a lot of dead people so crematorium availability like graveyard. We've got 
capacity is 730, deceased 713. So it must be simply a case that it's taking a while. What's that symbol? Crime rate. Alright, well, we'll worry about the police in a sec. Um, no, my crime rate is not immediately a problem. Um, no, go away. Right. Go away. Okay, so we need to emergency build a couple crematoriums. Do we have one crematorium and a vast number of hearses? Okay. So it looks like for this kind of high density residential application, we will be needing Give me a curve. We'll be needing some more services. So I will be sticking in a pair of camatorii which will immediately spaff out a vast number <laughs> are all your, yes, all your hearses are immediately set to work just going to have to ride that one, we might get a situation where we have a massive and sharp population drop off as all these buildings, because the smell of dead people, get abandoned but I'm not catastrophically concerned because all everything else, all the services and everything else is still there. So the rain can deal with the smell for a bit. And then the rest of us, and then the people will fill back in again. So yeah, you can see quite quickly that the pollution is gone. Look at that. All gone. High tech gadgets. Interesting. Let me just check. You're not quite inside the zone, are you? Be gone. Foul unpleasantness. I thought as much need. Little strip across the top here. Escape to my notice. So actually, what I was saying about the donkey was not actually standing out here. I've changed my mind. Let's put it back. Let's have some pollution-free industrialization for a little bit. We have commercial demand. Interesting. I'm going to let that stack up for a bit. I'm not immediately concerned. That was it. I was worrying about the death people over here. So I put one in over there. Let us stick again one in for every major spoke. That should help improve this. What kind of rating are these guys? I'm getting pretty close to full. There's the dinging going off as things get nicer. Right, well our cash flow has dropped considerably. Wow. Alright, what are we spending all our money on? What are we spending all our money on? It's a vast amount of money is going on garbage facilities. Just to cope with the fact that we've got our incineration capacity is that much. Our garbage structure is that way. So we're far, far in excess of it. It's simply first of making sure that people can having the excess garbage capacity to make sure that we can get to everything we need to do so that we can get the garbage away from where it needs to be. Hey, we're going up again. Yeah, that's ticking up. Shame we can't get graphs on the rest of it. Taxes. Yeah, I'm happy with the taxes. Right. Commercial demand is rapidly increasing, actually. So I think we might be looking... Oh, I bumped that up to make sure we actually make sure our, uh, our schooling capacity was better. Do we have a problem with schools? No, the availability is absolutely fine. Let's uh, save ourselves a bit of money there. So that's a ton of diamond. Yep, right, that's a large chunk of cash. 
I'm going to leave that as it is. I bumped that up because I wanted to make sure we had more taxis. Which reminds me. Yeah, let's, um... Public transport, taxis, taxi stand. I'm a big fan of these. They take up a lot of space for what they are. Wow, it's a lot of people using that underpass to get to and from the commercial district. I'm quite pleased that went in. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, it's all filling out. Right about still working. This hasn't snarled up. There is crime in the incinerator. Oh yes, police. Show me crime. A lot of crime over here. That's fire. Police. I don't tend to have a lot of them, do I? It's, um... Deploy a bit more fuzz, shall we? These guys are the absolute envy of every other person today. Where, where's your station? Right on the corner of the harbour. Mm -hmm. Alright, I'm pretty sure I don't need that eyesore of a power line anymore. Let's start. No. This is Bureau of Boring Hydrogen to watch. I will prune power lines another time. We were thinking about, well, problems in it. Commerce. We were looking at doing more commerce. Bugger off. No, that's it. We're looking at crime. Fine. Okay. There's definitely apparently a crime problem over here. We will stick in a police station. Technically, for every spoke. And I will stick in. A second, the third fire department. Which one's healthcare? Yes, medical clinic. One in the centre. Then one of the hearts of. I have the money. Park there, which you can't quite see. One at the heart of every spoke. Right. Okay. Cash flow is stabilizing. We've got a vast and unreasonable amount of it. Where shall we put in a little bit more commercial? Satisfy that quite lumpy demand. Well, there's a bit of space on the other side of here. A dedicated little commercial district in there. That roundabout, I think, has capacity. It's pretty hooked up to everything else. Yep, alright, let's do that then. Let us grab. That's all still elevated, isn't it? <laughs> that was an expensive waste of money. Expensive waste of my money. Why are you wasting my money? Mm -hmm. No, don't tunnel. Mm 
And then we will grab... No, I'm pretty sure we don't need to go all the way up to that level of road. That's a bit excessive. And grab that. Grab that tool, go from here. Create a loop way. Let's stick that power line back in because inevitably it will prove to be in some way, shape, or form important. Because you never know, at some point, some city bugger is going to forget what he was doing and delete a power line that you know he needed. Is that power line for? For the nuclear power plant, apparently. Alright, I'll leave that be. It means I've got power to this area. Alright. High density. Commercial. Bingo. Right, how are people going to get there? <laughs> Don't mind me, that's just me knocking things over. Nothing to see. Absolutely fine. No problems whatsoever. Just me knocking shit over. And I think I will probably upgrade that stretch of highway to be quieter. Yep, that's rapidly filling in already. Uh, I'm not going to put a bus route in because boom, I'm curious about how I would connect it up to anything. That said, I mean, yeah, I could extend the bus route that's running all the way along here and stick it out onto the end of there. Which would be a thing, I suppose. Uh, bus routes. Drag to create new stop. New stop's created. And you're all happy. Ground. That's crushed my commercial demand. Alright. So, these guys are apparently really unhappy about all the garbage. Trucks in use. Not all of the trucks are in use. It's odd how it decides where and where it sh won't actually decide to pick rubbish up from. It's kind of weird. So, you produce pollution as well. It makes no sense to me. I very much prefer it if it did make more sense. If in some way, shape or form, the garbage trucks would get down here and pick up the rubbish. Where are you going? Alright, so there are trucks coming. They're just taking their sweet, sweet time. Fine. Truck following. Truck following. Truck following as the episode ends. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. I've been the Marmoset. This has been Animalia. This has been City Skylines. We've built ourselves a large new area. We've built ourselves a large new district. We've tucked in a little bit more. 
an extra little commercial zone over here to crush our little extra bit expensive commercial demand. This is now full of trucks and the like, but yep, yeah, that'll do nicely for me. It works. It works. There's enough cars and the rest of it will keep that busy and keep that full. We built a nuclear power plant because we got big enough. We've got people stupidly trying to change lanes in stupid places and the rest of it, but so be it. We built all sorts of other bits and pieces. Oh yes, because that links up with that roundabout over there. Um, I'm wondering if that might not be worthwhile upgrading just to stop people changing lanes so much over here. Yep, yeah, let's just do that to finish off the episode. Looks like we can't have all of the nice things, apparently. And then reconnect the power line that connects my nuclear power plant to my grid. <laughs> Good. That works. Shiny. Thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. Please remember to like and subscribe.